Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Big Ben, the famous clock in London, uh, got damaged yesterday and uh, the Queen gave me a call. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but I guess she likes my accent. So anyway, to make a long story short, the Queen gave me a call and she wants me to find a solution for a few days until they repair Big Ben. So I thought of Cosmo right away because we can code on his face a pendulum. So uh, let's uh, have a look at the program first before I show you what it does. To understand the code we need to look at the Cosmo's uh, face coordinates. So you have the x-axis on the horizontal and the y-axis on the vertical and we have 128 pixels but 0 to 127 not from 1 to 128 and on the vertical axis we have 64 pixels from 0 to 63. So note that as the numbers go up on the y-axis the pixels are drawn lower in Cosmo's face. Of course, our code is in uh, Code Lab and in Constructor Mode. So I'm going to tap on uh, Constructor Mode and this is Project 13. So that will take just a couple of uh, seconds to uh, open. And uh, we'll see here. So you will see it's not very complicated, but again, it shows the, the huge potential that the Cosmo has. So to make it more interesting, and not having just a pendulum, I have Cosmo here to drive forward a bit. He's moving his head. He's going to say, hi, my name is Ben and I am big. So I thought it would be funny. And then he do the happy animation. And then he's moving, he's moving his head again because I want his head to lock at 45 degrees when I start the loop. So that's important. So the loop will go forever until we stop the animation. So here we draw the pendulum first in the vertical position. And as you can see, there is a timer. There is a weight of 0.1 second. If we don't put that, we would not see the pendulum when it is hanging vertical. And then the pendulum will swing to the left. Then we broadcast a message. And that's important here. We have to wait for the message to complete. If you don't wait, the, you will see that part of, the, of that function will not work. And then we go back to the center again. Again, to see it, we wait 0.1 second. Then the pendulum will swing to the right. And we will broadcast message number two at this point. And again, we wait for the message to complete. Now, if I go back up, we'll look at what happens with message one and two. So right here message two and message one. So I thought that just having the pendulum moving would be a bit boring. So when the pendulum is all the way to the left, Cosmo will say tick, and when it moves to the right, it will say tack. Now, because I want this to be done in constructor mode, you will see that when Cosmo talks, that will pause the animation. Unfortunately, to have a smooth animation at the same time as Cosmo talks, I would have to code this in Python and I would not be able to share my codes. Anyway, I think I would not be able to share my codes easily on the screen like I'm doing right now. So this is the very simple code as you can see. Now let's have a look at uh, what Cosmo can do here to replace Big Ben for a few days. Now that we saw the code, let's see what uh, Cosmo does. Obviously, I took him off the tower because like, we signed the code to make him more lively. He's going to move forward and even during the um, happy animation, he's going to shake so he could fall off the tower. So obviously, I don't want that to happen. So let's uh, tap on the green flag and see what happens.
So I'm going to tap on the, uh, the red logo here to stop the, uh, the program. So as you saw, this is the limitation of constructor mode. You cannot do uh, two or three things at the same time. So when Cosmo said tick or tack, there was a pause in the program execution. But again, that's a little uh, limitation. Still, there's a lot of potential, like I said before. So now if you would excuse me, I have a plane to catch. The queen is waiting for me for dinner. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.